What up, baby boys and baby girls? Today we're tattooing my boy Todd. Um, if you're a gamer, I wasn't a gamer at all before. I'm still not a gamer. I'm gonna have my first experience tomorrow, so I'm still a virgin to this shit. I'm tattooing our boy Todd, was a professional gamer of Warcraft 3 and Starcraft. That's right? Starcraft 2. Everything Starcraft, craft something, you know? Now he's a commentator on StarCraft 2. So if you're a gamer and if you do this game, you for sure know this guy. And tomorrow he's gonna teach me how to play. And I think I'm gonna be pretty good at it. I already thought about it. I think I'm gonna crush it. So, so stay with us. It's gonna be the little story today about gaming. You gotta know that this guy, uh, when he was living, it was you were living in China or Korea? Both. Well, both. It was like playing about like what, 15, 16 hours a day? A lot. Can you believe that shit? Like I tattoo seven, eight hours and fucking I feel like my eyes gonna blow up. I stay on Instagram for 30 minutes and I feel like I wanna hang myself. These guys are playing like 16, 17 hours a day, birdie eating. Fucking it, man. Fuck. Fuck out of here, man. It takes dedication. Michael Phelps diet over here. Todd says he's been eating like 12,000 calories per day because we were talking about, you know, like uh, calorie consumption and the effects he has on you and like, you know, how I eat about like at least like minimum 2,500 calories a day and usually I'm in between like 3,000 and 3,500 and how I stay thin, you know, because I'm just active, you know, overall and also the food that I eat. And we were talking about this guy eating like 12 fucking thousand calories a day and I mean, he's pretty fucking shredded, but breakfast, three fried egg sandwiches loaded with cheese, lettuce, tomato, fried onions, and mayonnaise, two cups of coffee, one five egg omelette, one bowl of grits, three slices of French toast topped with powdered sugar, three chocolate chip cakes. Damn, dog. I'm hungry right now. Lunch, one pound of enriched pasta, two large ham and cheese sandwiches with mayo, on white bread, energy drink pack, 1,000 calories. Oh. Dinner, one pound of pasta, an entire pizza, more energy drinks. You think it's true shit right there or what? I know this guy eats a lot. I don't know about every day, but must have been at some point, like nobody comes up with this stuff randomly. Uh, yeah. It's Monday. What do we do on Mondays? We do roses. Yeah, boy. Many months later. It's Monday! Oh, this is crazy! Hada hada! Check this out, man. Uh, we got a Lloyd coming, Lloyd. Look at his arm. I'm, uh, I'm happy with the way it's uh, healing, you know, it's like four days old right now, all the redness came down, all the texture and the nice like grace range of values appearing. I was talking with my friend AK yesterday, we were texting and we are talking about like how important it is the way your tattoo heals, you know. It's dope to have like sick tattoos when they're fresh and it makes like great pictures and shit, but at the end, I think us tattoo artists, and if you're watching, you know, our vlog and you're not a tattoo artist, you, you're just someone that gets tattooed. But um, it's very important to look once it's healed. I mean, it's nice that it looks good when it's fresh, but focus on like your heels. That's what matters at the end, because what we care about is how the work's gonna look for the rest of the person life that we tattooed, or for you if you did get tattooed. So um, that's something that I really try to improve myself, you know, to have the best heels possible. Uh, I know when I started like tattooing, it was very hard. Like I have like tattoos that were looking like uh, pretty cool, like when they were fresh, and I could get like good pictures out of them. And I felt like pretty alright about the way it looked when it was freshly done. But sometimes it will come back and it will be like so fucking. You know, I keep it real. I was cutting people out pretty bad, you know, or it will fade out a lot because the skin was getting overworked. So like lost so much ink. This was a little bit of tattoo love right here.
like this, man. You come back to me with some stencil yeah. like this, like. Okay, this one is completely done. Yeah, okay, I know. like it's just in case you. Want to... You know what? Yeah. Les jours, mon coach m'a pris sous son aile. Je m'entraîne chez lui. Normalement, les lundis, mardis, tu vois, le matin, gavé tôt. All right, we just got done with the tattoo. End of the session. I'm a little tired right now, and we're gonna go upstairs. Actually, uh, uh, Todd just rented the place on top of our studio, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna go check out the game. So it's called StarCraft 2, and I'm gonna see if I'm already a real gamer. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna crush it. So this is it right here. So anywhere you travel, you bring this thing with you. The monitor, not always, but the laptop, keyboard, and mouse, yeah, usually. So to in order to play, you need the keyboard and yeah. the... You need the keyboard for sure. You're gonna find out. You see, like, when you're on that pro level of gaming, you need to carry this type of things around with you. Like, a pro gamer won't just travel with a laptop. No way. Yeah, you can't play with the keyboard, the laptop, and the, the, the touch pad either. You need a mouse like this. This guy is serious. There's three races. So this is the Terrans. Yeah. Like, uh, they're like us, like humans and stuff. Okay, they have, like, okay. new technology. This is like the Zergs. They're like an alien race. Okay. That's like... That swarms their opponents with okay. like a lot of units. You need to be very fast to play this race. And this is Protoss. It's also alien, but more like Sionic. That's what you are. Yeah, that's that's what I play. Okay. It's and supposed the, to be the easier race. What is the the other one? Uh, this is just because it's the campaign. Like this is not. I don't want race. the humans one. The Terrans. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna show you one game first and explain you how it works, and okay. uh, the hotkeys a little bit. Okay. I'm nervous and excited at the same time. It's like the first time I had sex. So I'm gonna put an AI in very easy so that like, he doesn't do anything. A main building and harvesters, and then you need to mine minerals and gas to develop yourself and uh, make a, build an army basically to kill your opponents. You can win the game by eliminating all of your opponent's buildings, but usually you have to go through his army first. So you wanna build a good army to kill his, and a good way to do that is to maybe slow, find a way to slow him down. If you can slow down his economy, then you will slow down his uh, development. So you see, you start with this main building, it's called the command center. And these guys, they will go collect minerals. By left clicking like this, you select units. And then if you right click, they will go somewhere. So I'm gonna show you like. Uh, so you, so you can, I'm already lost. Yeah, you can select one like this, left clicking, and then you can right click it somewhere and then it will go there. I don't think I was meant to. I don't think I'm from this gaming world. It's, uh, it's, uh, it sounds like very complicated to me. But let's give it a shot. Start, Start game, right game. okay, let's go. All right. So, so first go. thing, S for SCV, after you click on the main building. And then, and then as soon as you have 100 minerals. So click, left, left click. Yeah, left click on this S. S. It's gonna make an SCV, you see it's building. Okay. And then now, as soon as you have 100 minerals there, you left click an SCV and then you do BS for a supply depot. B so B click, S. Yeah, no, you need to click on an SCV first. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, Both. BS. BS. Yeah, yeah, make it a little bit lower so you don't block yourself. Yeah, like this. And then now you start another SCV. So I go here and I do yeah, S. S. Yeah, and then like you can go up to 15 supply right now, but as soon as this finishes, you can start a barracks with this. So make another SCV, so you go up to 15. 
sense. Yeah, you see it's queued right there. Then as soon as this one finish, you're gonna select this guy and do BB for to start a barracks. Uh, so I double click on them. Yeah, it takes all of them, right then right click. click. Okay. And you see they're all gonna go. Okay. But you, yeah, okay, it's good. Double click one of the barracks. This is crazy right now. <laughs> double, double click one of the barracks. Quick, 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 you, you get okay, into okay. And then AA, press AAA. A, a, a. A, 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 a. Just so left tough. click one of them. And then you can see you're building all these guys right now. Okay. And then as soon as they come out, I would say just wait until you have like 10, 15, 12, and then you're gonna head across the map and try to kill the opponents. Okay, I'm about to kill my opponents. For, for most people that play their first game, I don't think they will win against a computer like this if they're learning uh, hotkeys and everything, even though it's like, it's easy computer you're playing right now. That's doing an economic build, so you shouldn't have too many fighting units. So do oh. a little bit more AA. How do I? Keep scrolling. Yeah, scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, your opponent's all the way down there. Yeah, right. you see, like you're scrolling right now. And then do A, press A. a. It's gonna change the cursor and then left click here. Okay, your Marines are, head, are headed there. I'm gonna show them to you. And everything they meet on their way, they're gonna be attacking. So you've made all these guys and now you're headed to kill the other guy on the other side of the map. The fight's already happening. Just move them to the right, everything. Double click one of them if you can. Yeah, move them a little bit to the right, yeah, so that they're all grouped up and they're killing him. I think you got this. See, like that's his base, it doesn't have much, you're killing everything right now. Yes. Okay, you won. Press yes. Boom! Oh! <laughs> First game, it's a win! <laughs> Easy. Yes! A few minutes later. I remake this, but boom! Dead. Six minutes game. And wow. he stayed longer than he should have. Woo! I feel like, <laughs> honestly, I feel tense as fuck right now. Yeah, man. I don't know pressure. if you can play this shit for like 16 hours. No joke, man. It's intense. Wow.